Hi everyone, welcome to Basic Science Series. I'm your host Lokendra Kumar and today we will discuss what is genetics. In genetics, we usually discuss three important terms, gene, genetic variation and heredity. On the computer screen, you can see that I have designed some illustration to explain these specific terms. And in this uh, video presentation, I will explain each term with a different slide and I will try to give you some examples so that you can better understand the concept of genetics. Before explaining this particular concept, as you can see, I have changed the layout of my presentations. The reason behind that was uh, because of the, the stress which is induced by the white or the light background. Uh, it's very difficult to watch the presentation that are that are long that are at least 20 to 30 minutes long and uh, as you can see most of my presentation I I try to point you towards the structure I try to point you towards the main highlighting point so I thought uh, that I should use a dark background not too dark uh, background so I have used a gray dark gray colored background and the text is also not very light it's little dull so that it's not going to induce that much pressure uh, on your eyes so i hope you're gonna like this particular theme and if you have any comments regarding this particular theme please feel free to post those comments and and uh, i will try my best to improve the presentation style all right so uh with that note i'll just start uh, my presentation and you can see uh, on your computer screen I have some figures and this is the text that is representing that genetics is basically composed of gene genetic variation and heredity to understand the genetics we need to understand what are these three different terms in this video presentation I'm going to explain these terms and I hope uh, by the end of this presentation you will have a better understanding of the genetics all right so without any delay let's jump on to the presentation part all right so this is my first slide where I'm trying to explain uh, the concept of genetics in terms of gene genetic variation and heredity basically these three terms they combined together to constitute the concept of genetics so we need to have uh, better understanding of gene genetic variation as well as heredity what I have in my next slide in the next slide I am trying to explain the concept of gene gene is basically the sequence of the nucleotide in the in the DNA right so we we know that there are these structures uh, that are known as chromosomes that are composed of the DNA and the DNA contains a specific set of these uh, nucleotides and the sequence of that nucleotide, a specific sequence that constitute a specific RNA or a protein known is known as a gene. Okay, that is why I have written here the product, right? So you have a sequence of nucleotide that will provide you a specific product using the concept of eye chemistry you know all the processes that um, some of the process that we already discussed transcription translation that will lead to the formation of rna that will lead to the formation of protein and protein is the functional molecule of this particular gene and that will carry out a specific function or that will carry a specific trait so this is the concept of of gene and uh, and we have a lot of genes animals have a lot of genes plants microbes and all those genes they are responsible for a specific trait or specific protein as I've already discussed right in the next slide I'm trying to explain the concept of genetic variation now as I've already explained to you that there are these genes that are responsible for a specific protein and that protein is responsible to carry out a specific function and now uh, we all know that there there is so much variation among different different individuals right although they will have 
a same set of genes, but there is still a lot of difference. For example, difference in the eye color, different in this difference in the skin color, and so on and so forth, right? And that is that is where the concept of a genetic variation comes into the picture. As you can see here, what I'm trying to explain to you is differences between individual. So the whole population will have many different individuals. You can take example of plants, you can take example of animals, humans, right? And there will be certain uh, types of difference among the individual and that difference is because of the genetic variation. And there are uh, some differences between the populations that is also because of the genetic variation. And now, why those differences, they emerge at the first place because of the mutations and mutations are basically the change in the that particular sequence of that gene as you can see i'm trying to explain in an illustrative way here that when when you have a specific gene it will have a specific sequence and because of the mutation the sequence will change i want to give you an example of uh, a, a strain of a bacteria for example if you have a bacteria and the bacteria is not drug resistant and now you are trying to give an antimicrobial agent to a bacteria which targets a specific protein if you keep doing that ultimately what's going to happen is bacteria is going to develop the resistance how that resistance is going to develop because that antimicrobial agent must be targeting a specific pathway in the bacterial bacterial system leading to the death of the organism so bacteria is going to change its genetic machinery genetic structure genetic sequence that will lead to the change in that protein and the antimicrobial agent will no longer be effective against that particular bacteria so we'll say that there is a mutation and change in the bacteria that led to the survival of the bacteria and emergence of drug resistant strain right so that is uh, a very basic concept as you can see here i'm trying to show you that there are uh, there is a region where there is a mutation and that lead to the sequence change right all right so that was the concept of uh, genetic variation now let's move on to the uh, next slide where I'm trying to explain to you the concept of uh, heredity. Heredity is basically biological inheritance. Means when a specific trait, a specific characteristic is transferred from parent to the offspring, right? And and that is also based on the genes because mm, when two individuals they are going to perform the sexual or asexual sexual in case of the two individual and asexual reproduction in case of a single organism what is going to happen that genes the genetic material is going to transfer and how that particular gene is going to transfer and how it's going to express itself in the offspring is the concept of heredity basically biological inheritance uh, is is also known as heredity and uh, how the traits are transferred from parent to offspring uh, by the process of sexual as well as asexual reproduction uh, involves this particular concept which is known as biological inheritance or heredity right in this picture what i'm trying to show you is you can clearly see i have uh, made these unique uh, unique uh, structures one is a rectangular and then you have this circle basically what they are representing uh, as i can show you here uh, is uh, the the circle is the wild type female and uh, the uh, rectangular is wild type male so in this case when the color is green that means it's wild type and when it's red that means the gene is affected most of the genetic disorder, they involves the change in the gene and we call that as a defective gene. We will discuss those uh, concepts in our upcoming videos. But for, uh, for now, we just try to understand in a way that this green 
is basically the normal or the wild type male or female and the red is basically the affected male or female. In this case, you can see I have uh, written here one, two, three, four. So these are different, different generations. I'm just taking this as an example uh, of transmission of the character from population one, uh, sorry, generation one to generation two and then three. In this case, you can see when the generation one, they transfer the, the specific genes to generation two, both of the individuals, male as well as females, they were affected, right? But you can see in the generation one, the only one parent was defective for that particular gene, but it led to the uh, transmission of that defective gene to different, uh, both, both of the offsprings. So by, by seeing this specific pattern, you can understand the, the uh, movement of all those specific uh, genes and their function throughout the generation, right? So you need uh, to understand how generation one is responding to particular genetic disorder, then second, third, on the basis of that, they are classified into different, different uh, genetic disorders. And that, that we will definitely discuss. Uh, and it's very important part of the genetics. Okay, so this was the concept of heredity. And uh, again, to my first slide where I try to explain these three different terms. And uh, if I summarize these three terms, basically gene is the, the set of nucleotides that is responsible for a product, RNA or protein in this case. And genetic variation is the change. If there is a change in that particular gene sequence will lead to the change in the final product and the function is also going to change of that particular final product, right? And then you have heredity where the, the particular gene, how that particular gene is getting transferred from generation to generation, the study of that particular uh, concept is heredity or biological inheritance and all these three important terms all these three terms they overall they are going to constitute the concept of genetics so i hope now you have a you know basic idea of the genetics and uh, uh, now i want you to maybe make notes or study more on this particular concept and I hope uh, my presentation was helpful for you to understand the basic concept of genetics. I will meet you in the next video where I will try to explain the similar kinds of concept. I will also include some more detailed concepts and uh, if you like the presentation please stay tuned and subscribe to the channel and uh, show your support. Your support is important for me because it motivates me to make uh, more videos like this. All right, so with that note, I'm just going to conclude this presentation and I will see you in my next video where I will bring uh, similar lectures and um, similar notes. I will provide you on uh, different, different topics and I hope uh, you will like those videos and they're going to help you in your studies. All right, thank you and take care.